Oh man. Uh, I feel like a right idiot now. Right. Let's bring up Twitch chat anyway. So I can see, like, if you're complaining at me because something's terribly wrong. Uh, subscribe to myself. By the way, you can now subscribe and get the sick one emote that I have at some point. Because I haven't actually set it up yet. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not going to show anything for another, like, two minutes. So it's going to be Salt Robots versus Team Miking. Salt Robots are, I believe, one game up uh, right now. So that's how it's going, because they're continuing their match from last week when I have no idea what went wrong last week. Sorry, not last week. Uh, Sunday. Or oh, Saturday. Yeah, last week. That was right. Um... I don't, I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> uh, do I have anyone on my friends list who is that level? Maybe. No. Usual players from Mr. Freeze was uh, one of the Scrub Cup players last year, I think. Oh, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty hard to find a sub around that level. You don't get too many players around that level playing in Scrub Cup. Generally, they're around the 2k, just like... 2k just above in gold. You get a couple of uh, silver players, uh, but not too many, generally. I mean, not that it's a bad thing, it's just the way it seems to be going. Um... <coughs> So, yeah. Just waiting for some sub issues to be sorted out. Okay, sweet. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So, uh, did we die? Probably going to fill that tank roll up there. Uh, IMS. Again, most likely a tank roll. Mikey, I remember being a DPS. Yeah, DPS player there. Nightwing on the... Support roll, I would presume, uh, from that Anup time. Um... For <laughs> Uh... And we've got Edgy Raven, which is the last player we can look at on this team. Who is a... DPS main again, yep. Yeah. What a name. How surprising. That is true, that's fair. Um, I don't have a um, an emote yet. I, I wanna, I'm going to set one up at some point, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, because I literally set it and sorted out this all this uh, Twitch affiliate stuff this morning. I was like, what the hell is... a I T I N, and I'm like, yes, I feel like I'm doing way too much adulting here. Yeah. Because it was like tax, and I was like, oh no, please, please don't take my money. And then they were like, go take your money. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, oh, no, right, sweet. So, uh, last player, most likely a healer on the side. 
of uh, yeah, mercy player. Uh, same for the team. Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, stuff coming out from uh, Marquine here. We got my name is James, uh, who is going to be playing DPS Kaiser Sec, Ka Kaiser esque, Kaiser esque, uh, playing a whole host of things. Can he use Kenny Good Lake um, on this tank roll? Don't know. Save me. Uh, and then we've got, I assume, I have no idea. That gives about, yeah, okay, probably DPS, um, Jarlax. I swear we've seen Luxray before. Why is not a vowel? It's something that is true in other languages. Sorry, it's, it's, it's a vowel in other languages, languages, but it's not a vowel in English. God damn it, Mikeen. Treating Y like a vowel. In English, we kind of put it in between the two, because you know what? Screw any sensible decisions. Fuck, he's higher than me. I have a higher season height. Plus, Mercy main angry react. Yeah. This guy, a bit of trash, but, you know. Genji one trickle. Where do I know Luxray from? Vals, do you remember Luxray? I swear we've played against him or something. Uh, so it's Lee Jang. Let's get ready to rumble! I don't want to shout too loud because I do actually have uh, next door neighbours. Let's get ready to rumble! Feels bad, man, when, you're, when your coach is never there. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, so we'll be hopefully getting to the game soon, after I stop meddling, basically. And um, we've got Luxray. Oh, this time it would be you laughing at my deaths. Dude, I was always laughing at your deaths, Marquine. We, we beat you, if you remember. It led to a certain someone being disqualified from Scrub Cup. Probably won't hear this, probably being game. Oh, sweet, I love it when they put me in this situation where I have free reign. If there are um, issues with buttons, uh, if you see me like, my, my, my camera spazzing out, um, uh, it's basically because I spilt water on my keyboard today. I was like playing a game and then I knocked it over and I was like, Phew. Because I have it like right next to me. I had to dry out my um, mouse pad the entire day. 
kind of shit. But sweet. Uh, we're going to be having the classic scrub cup hunt where you run Farah and you run whatever supports and then you run some sort of divey tanks and you kind of test the opponent, see if they have a good enough um, hit scan in order to actually deal uh, with the Farah. And if they can't, they lose, basically. That is the question here. And they are starting the conversation out like this. But from what I've already heard, considering the fact that um, salt bots have already won uh, one of the maps, it could be that they have an answer and Grim is good enough to uh, take down and shut down the entire comp. Or maybe it's other things, part, other parts of the team where Marking can't cause enough damage. And Marking swapping over to the junk rat, so maybe uh, that is true. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, the dive come out from uh, the side of Team Viking uh, with Ambersan on that Genji, and they're going to be moving towards server. Well, not, in fact, looks like it, but they're going to be just getting that little bit of damage down, poke at the start. It's going to be forcing them back off, and they're going to move towards point. They don't really need to mind. They've got the control already. The Winston diving in, but not actually managing to find that Mercy in the first kill. Going out to Jarlax. Opening pick, forcing out this Mercy res is really important. Lightwing, a little bit out of position, and so is Did We Die. But the rest of his team, he bounced around, Carney. Bounced around, but a lot of Junkrat damage coming out, killing off both of those tanks, but the res coming through now, and it's definitely uh, the side of... Uh, Team Saltbots uh, that are winning out here with the Luxray already popping that out and getting that double kill. We do. They're just going to push up and they're going to hold up really, uh, really far up the map, and it's going to be very hard for uh, Team Viking to find an opening. They're going to have to really. Uh, get some amazing picks in order to push through here. Especially with uh, Kani uh, being Kani good on this uh, Reinhardt. He's going to be knocking him around at IMS, trying to dive, but just getting stopped in his tracks. Luxray going now. This could be a big pick from Marquine, but did we die? The trading going all around with this Mercy down. This could be a great fight for Team Viking, but this ultimate coming out, and the Trans coming out to stop it. Attack are coming through, but Grim just being shut down by the double tank duo of Team Viking. And it looks like a really good fight with their Marquine hitting some great Helix Rockets. And it seems like they managed to find that opening that they needed, especially with that kill onto, that, onto Mercy. So yeah, now they're going to be the ones uh, trying to do this early stall tactic, where they have that buffer of space, but having to pop the ult from IMS. Sure quite why, it seems a little bit strange, but Edgy Raven getting those picks through. As per usual, we're going to see some picks coming through from the Zenyatas on uh, either side. Just seems to be how every game I cast goes. Is it the real boombox? Of IMS doing a pretty decent job of cleaning up a lot of these kills. Uh, but these tanks being forced back. Canny coming in here. Swinging his hammer. Finally picking shield up. Alright, Shadow. Only hitting one, really. But that attack visor coming out from Marquis. Can it achieve anything? Manages to pick off Lightwing, which could be the peck they need, especially alongside Marquin going down. That's a healer and a DPS, but Edgy Raven picking off in the back zone. Marquin not being able to find anything with that ultimate, sadly. And Luxray starting to pour out that damage yet again, killing off both tanks. And it doesn't seem like Viking have any response to this amount of damage. They either have to pick off Luxray early, which was how they won the previous fight, or just lose and Ambersan with that ultimate getting completely counteracted by uh, the Lucio drop the beat and the Resurrect coming through from the Mercy. Luxray again just getting his picks onto the DPS, getting picks onto everyone. Jarlax getting some surprising number of kills here uh, on this Lucio, but Grim just cleaning up the end of the fight there. Give me Graham falling back. They're going to be looking uh, for some way to engage him on this backline and kill off uh, Luxray and also take out uh, the healer. My name's James. 
It's a nice Zarya all coming through, and Canny being right there to capitalize upon it, but that tire was kind of suspect there uh, from Luxray. And this ultimate coming out from IMS just seems like it's just all time, but jumps off in the end anyway. He didn't really do anything. It's kind of a waste, and it's just going to end badly as a result. They're, they're not going to make it onto the point in time, and it's going to be a lockout first point after the initial um, speed bump of that one take from uh, Team Viking. They're just going to absolutely hold it down. Salt Power Bots taking the first round of this map. Going to whatever the name of this one is. I cannot actually remember the name of these different um, maps for the life of me. Um, I think it's Market, this one? Night Market? No switch ups are coming from in apart from um, apart from uh, going to be putting Marquine on that uh, Farah again and seeing if they can st basically use the fact that Junkrat, who's being the main damage dealer for this team most of the time, cannot hit Farah very easily and basically just abusing it. And Marquine already getting picked up. And my name is James. That could be a one fight already. Uh, with the amount of damage that he does, because if it were anyone but Mercy, just that res comes through. And it's it's a bit of a disadvantage, but it's not a massive one. Uh, but can he, finding those return picks, and Marquin being the only one to find kills so far, Luxray killing off everyone but Marquin. In fact, uh, doesn't need to kill Marquin if he can have no one else around him to help him win this point, but a lot of damage coming through, and my name is James back on the point. All these rockets coming through, and eventually Luxray going down. Marquis might have found the answer that he needs to, uh, to win out on this map. Especially considering how good Farah is on this map. And IMS jumping in, but isn't quite going to work. Diving into four doesn't work, IMS. Trust me, I've tried. They're just going to move straight back onto the point. Can he? Just being very aggressive on this Reinhardt, perhaps letting his shield down a little bit too much, but doing quite a lot. This Marquine's uh, ultimate coming in, but Kaiser esque just not letting him get too much down. I mean, my name is James, not being the greatest positioner of all time, as shown by the fact that he's died two times in a row, three times, sorry, uh, in a row here, and hardly achieved anything. Uh, but the rest of his team, they don't need a second healer. They're happy with uh, Dralex doing enough. Especially since Jarlax is on fire right now. It's like Grim. Grim not showing up in the kill feed too much, but clearly doing a lot of damage if they're already on fire. This return uh, of the Pharah being boosted by the Mercy, and it's going to be quite hard for Marking to find his way onto the point. It's very good for uh, holding the point once you've gotten it, but this Pharah does lack ability to enter. Which is alleviated slightly by these windows, but did we die just charging in and dying? Oh well, no, was it can sorry, it was Canny charging in and getting did we die? But a lot of things here coming in and a charge coming back and a beautiful tire coming from Luxray. Edgy Raven not quite finding anything to go alongside the ultimate. No picks coming in, but just healing. It feels like the ult was just used for nothing. It, they really need to start utilizing these ult to get an advantage rather than just using them for usage's sake. And IMS swapping over onto that Zarya. Will he be able to find something when he's not diving? Or well, at least this way, he can't die, jump in 1v4. got a lot of rockets coming in but they're not seeming to find their mark after that initial uh, fight they haven't really achieved too much there and canny with some great anti tire to um, uh, play coming in there but did we go die getting some good charges in and Graham having to be brought back up the alts being popped and uh, James just managing to escape the fury of Marquine the rest of his team has not been able to do so unfortunately there's only two left, and it's him and his soldier. They're going to go down. It's only a matter of time. Especially with Lightwing chasing him down. And Ambersand finding the final pick. This Junkrat working out quite well for them. But 
no hit scan, so it could be a real problem uh, to deal with. <laughs> a return Farah. Or any kind of tank, they don't have that much tank dam anti tank damage. They're gonna have to rely on uh, Kaiser Esk and uh, Kani. Sorry, um, IMS and Did We Die to deal with those tanks. Uh, if they can, because Did We Die can keep them CC'd and IMS can chew through if he's on high energy. But a beautiful charge coming out from Kani and a nice follow up ultimate coming from uh, uh, Kaiser Esk. But this tire's only gonna hit Marquine. That's all it needed to do to win this fight uh, for the Team Salt Robots side. And can he? Just returning after his little trip abroad. His attack fights are coming through, but it's just to slow everyone down. Unsubscriber. Ugh. Now, question is here is, will they be able to, and they've, I'm surprised that there hasn't been anyone switching onto Farah on the side of, oh there we go, there it is, Grim switching to Farah, uh, and Jarlix switching to a, uh, sorry, an Anna, which is uh, I possibly the way they're intending to deal with, um, oh no, stopping, stopping right back. <sighs> I'm quite tired. Hi Vicky, enjoy me dying. Nice. Um, but yeah, Grim swapping onto his Farah. It's going to be a real threat, especially since there's no hit scan. There's no hit scan on either side, to be honest. Running the same DPS. It's Projectile City. Can he being a little bit aggressive, but Luxury being the one who's really trying to get work done here. But perhaps he needs a lesson in work safety. Uh, Grim already finding that uh, 1v1 onto Marquine, both with their mercies. Well, it wasn't really one one, more of a 2v2. But the aggressive charges coming out uh, from this blue side is getting punished. Even though they killed off Jarlex, there was just that res to come in. They've already won the uh, Merc... Sorry, the Far Wall, so they don't need to heal him. She can come down and just be part of the team. Kenny, having a low health shield, and it's probably going to start walking back, but... They're going on this right side uh, here for... Uh, for... Team Viking. Marquine again looking for this fight. He's not got anyone to contest him right now because uh, you've got Grim and he's a little bit far away. He's, I think he's inside. No, he's on the floor here. It's a little bit strange, but it's not working out too terribly for him. And can he try to be aggressive until did we die? Managed to find the kill. Can he kill off IMS or any of these supports? It's Mercy coming in lightly, not being punished for it. And can he having to be rezzed, being really aggressive with Dralex there, but the rest of his team. Doing good work in the back line, and did we die? Is gonna go down. Lightwing. Trying to keep his uh, soldier alive. Now switching to that soldier to, deal, soldier to deal with Grim. But Marquine saying, You don't need to, I got it, don't worry about it. <laughs> good ultimate coming out again, and they don't need alts to capitalize on this, it seems. It seems because Kani is so aggressive, and because Kaiser is such high charge, they don't need this extra power. And just cleaning up Marquine, who is on the ground and is just unable to do anything. My ultimate is ready. My ultimate is almost ready. They're going to be going for this uh, south side area again, most likely. Um, except IMS is posing, they're just going to jump straight across some of them. Trying to get to this point just to stall. They're in a bad position and they're just trying to force it. And sometimes it works out, but it doesn't look like it's going to against this side of Salt Robots. But Marking finding that first pick, that could be really big. It could be the first step to forcing it with Lightwing going down. Not looking great. Especially since Edgy Raven just got pushed off by Canny. That hammer doing work. You can't dodge a big hammer if you're standing right next to it. That's a lovely first at map. Sorry, second map. Um, is that everything? Best of five, right? Just trying to check.
Marquee trying to be the hero, but so much damage coming out from Luxray. Didn't really matter what he was doing in the sky because Luxray was doing far more on the ground. Gonna be banning towards the next next map now. Oh, so an ad adaptation I'd like to see is <clears throat> running a Reaper on the side of Team Viking because Team Viking are just not punishing Canny and Kaiser Ask for being so aggressive. <laughs> Why was he tired? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so. Basically, Kaiser Rescue can be very aggressive. Luxray can be um, can be very aggressive on this um, Draco turret. You can just chew through them with this Reaper. So much damage coming out. And Kani's just walking into them. He's going to have to be forced back. He's going to have to be more passive. Or he's just going to lose. And that's I think that's a win-win situation from Dean Viking. Because if you're not having um, uh, Grim again on this Pharaoh, which I don't think we'll see again unless it's a very good Pharaoh map, which is what happened in the end. Um, you're going to have Grim on the Soldier, and he's kind of going to help his back line, but can't do too much unless he gets, hits a really nice Helix um, onto uh, whoever's playing that Reaper, uh, be it Marquine or Ambassan. So we're going to be banning Dorado, and it's going to be picked from Hollywood, King Zero, Hanamura, Anubis, and 66. A ban Anubis. Oh, I thought it was a pick. Oh no. Sorry, too easy. Sorry, it was just, it was too easy. I shouldn't have gone for it. Well, like a poo best, but Anubis is best map. I love Anubis. Anubis is actually pretty good fun. It's like I don't tend to like two CP maps very much, but I like Anubis. I hate Volskaya. Uh, what else? No, I actually sorry. Uh, I hate Vol Volskaya and I hate um, Luna. God damn it! I said. I'm just going to quickly sort this out. I scheduled it for 3 a.m. Oh, god damn it. Listen to me. Piece of rubbish. 320. Let's go 320 because I can't be asked. Close. Oh. Your blood. Blood is full. Oh, just gonna be waiting. X map to be picked. Okay, that's a fair argument. Is you tend to I don't, as you say that, what she starts to be with you want to own Anubis. Did I didn't really <laughs> Can't 
Come on. Oh, I hate waiting. Oh. This is quite the cluster fudge of a map pick. They were both unsure on the rules, and Stardust was kind of like, mm, not sure. And then everything had to be checked. All right. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Oh man, it's taken a hell of a long time. Sorry about this chat. Oh no, I accidentally just closed chat on my phone. Whatever will I do? Yeah, I sure it was well. Yeah, this is the point, James. Come on, get with the program, mate. Oh, painfully slow. Alright, I can see chat once again now. If you want to send me interesting messages <laughs> Hollywood right we're going to Hollywood pack your bags guys going on the trip of a lifetime unfortunately much like most of America there'll be shots all around and not the good kind Ugh. So, we're choosing side robots. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, that sounds really BM to Stardust. I feel kind of bad now. say JK so he doesn't feel bad about himself. I'm a good guy really. That is that is the smile of it don't you dare call me out on anything ever again. This smile right here. Or I will eat your soul. Oh. Sorry about that, I'm just wiping my glasses. They are rather dirty. And we're all ready to get into the game. I would like to say, I do like uh, Team Vikings uh, beard ensemble. What they've got going on there. It's much like uh, some of the Scandinavian teams in uh, in esports, where they don't shave their beard until um, they uh, win, basically. <clears throat> and you see these big, long, uh, hairy men, and it kind of feels bad for them. But also, it looks kind of cool because they look like Vikings, which I assume is what Team Viking are going for when they win a round, finally. Wow. Uh, and 
going right into the paws. Ugh. I would like to see Dralex on the Sana. Be kind of cool to see. Need time to hack. Come on, yeah. Watch him three arm now. Reverse sweep. Real stuff. Tell you what, playing a uh, best of seven was the most tiring thing in the world. Considering we started at like nine and we went all the way till twelve. No, no, no. It was like before nine. It was like eight. We started. It was seven thirty. It was crazy. Uh, for the finals of O4 uh, of uh, Scrub Cup, it was just the most shattering thing. Yeah. I was at a friend's uh, with one of my with one of the other players uh, at a LAN party, and I was like, "It shouldn't take too long, come on!" Uh, and then it went all seven games. Uh, actually, no, it didn't. We had like, yeah, no, no, that was the semi. That was the um, losers' finals. Sorry, we went down two, so we won there. And we had to do the, the the grand finals, which was supposed to be on the same night. Don't know how the hell they expected that to happen. Uh, and yeah. We got Jarlex on this Anna. I'm kind of excited for that. It'll be cool to see. Wonder how well that'll go and it, whether the dive uh, will work out alongside a lot of healing. They could really uh, manage to get through all this damage coming down from Luxray with this excess healing. Uh, as long as they can actually get to a good scenario. Oh, no, wait, sorry, Luxray is on their team. What am I talking about? I'm chatting absolute rubbish. Uh, but some nice dive coming in uh, from the side of Team Viking. Picking up Jarlix at the start is really good for them. But that res coming through and that anti healing is going to pick off Lightwing. Some great play there upon the res. And Luxray just spamming that damage out. Jarlex finding some kills of his own. <laughs> and did we go? Getting staggered a little bit there. Not quite as harsh as the stagger uh, that came out from Team Korea onto Mangachu. That was horrible. Thanks, Vals, for saying I'm not a good boy. But I'm a good boy. Spelled B O Y E. One day I aspire to be as much of a good boy as my dogger. I don't actually have a dog. I wish I had a dog. Okay, have some going around the side, which is generally a tactic used by a lot of players, uh, coming up into this high ground uh, and just utilizing it with a edgy raven being up there. Not much as you find the kill onto them, but Marquine finding Grim. I didn't even see this uh, McCree coming out, but it worked all right until Luxray started to take out some of those players. But Marquine. Finding some shots, but they're not accomplishing anything. And again, did we die? Gonna get pushed out. Gonna get staggered, possibly, if they can actually hit him. No, they can't. He's gonna get that fine. But that ultimate coming out from Kaiser Ask, little bit confusing. Not quite sure what was going on there. That's not a very easy to regen uh, ultimate. So, it's kind of bad for the team. The monkey going down there to a sleep dart. That ha that feels bad. I can tell you that from first hand. It's just the worst thing in the world. Uh, <laughs> Gani trying to run around, but IMS being up the high ground. Grim behind him. Grim and Luxray trying to hold on to this point. Jolix being the last man to leave. Hey, that's one hell of a commanderly way to treat everything, but. Kani blocking the entirety of Marquine's ult and finding a nice shadow, but no one there ready to follow up on it, unfortunately. Kaiser is trying to find something, but being the one who's picked instead, and with this ult coming up from Edgy Raven, they're going to take this point. I'd be very surprised if they don't. It would be a brilliant stall and save uh, coming out from Team uh, Salty Robots here. But Team Viking, yeah, they're going to take it, and Salty Robots are just going to hold back here. Holding his high ground. IMS trying to cl um, claim it for his own though. And the rest of the team coming up to join him. You can't have it, they say. But Luxray is going to give them one hell of a surprise. And he hopes they like explosions. 
<laughs> that just went terribly for him. Both of them have more movement than him. Uh, and he just tried to knock them both off. Luxray trying to go for that flank though. Almost caught alone. Is indeed. Edgy Raven doing a really great job so far. It's ultimate coming out from Grum, but it's just gonna get shut down by the rest of the uh, by the rest of Team Viking. Got my keen I'll deal with that, but IMS in this back line popping ult, that's just what you want to do, but Luxray getting caught again. Honey having to walk back slowly all alone. Mucking's gonna make him look very scared, but Kaiser S coming to save him. Can they find anything? Ultimate coming out again from Grim. Grim popping up very early and finding a lot of kills alongside of it. A brilliant ultimate coming out from Kaiser S. And they're gonna stagger the rest if they can get Dibby Die. Oh no. They oh they ruined it. That could have been a brilliant stagger, like a, a properly legit. Then again, the rest of the team is starting to get up just now because it was so long. Nice shadow coming out from Kani. And taking out Markeen, which is a big DPS coming out of that fight. Uh, oh my god, getting stuck on everything. And IMS getting staggered by Drolex. And a nice tire coming out from Luxury. Sorry, not tire, mine. Kaiser Ask, a bit far forward, but hey, it's working out. Kaiser Ask, really popping off in all of these games on this area. A great showing. A lot of people not properly identifying that you don't want to shoot the Zarya bubble. And that's the problem. Grim getting a lot of shots down, but. Finding anything, Dibby Die diving onto the point, but being caught alone. They're just getting popped. It's not working out for them. Marquine, however, finding James. That's big. Picking off Luxray, but going down to Kaiser Esk. These ults coming out. This res, but. That Zarya or even though it was so good, is not actually going to achieve anything. Edgy Raven wasn't able to get too many picks there, but... Sorry, not Edgy Raven. The um, rest of the team uh, for Team Viking weren't able to find anything because Edgy Raven was on that high ground. Oh, an ultimate coming out. And finding two, brilliant one from Luxray, that's going to allow them to get back onto this point, even with these reses coming through. And Grim popping ult and getting nano boosted, really going to be able to do a lot here. Alongside Luxray's brilliant mind play, but can he survive this Steva bomb? Does not, being the only one from his team to actually go down here. Feels terrible, but Team Viking hold it in this Streets phase too. It's a good half. And it's now up to uh, Team uh, Salty Robot. Sorry, Team Salty Robots. Sorry, holding it in the streets phase here. Um, team Viking are really going to have to get a good, slow, um, good stall on here uh, to stop them from taking this first point. Pretty much, like they could hold in streets, but that's far harder than holding full on the first point. Especially if you get a good comp going, like a good cheese comp. Like a bit of mature cheese. Would be interested in seeing uh, a Sombra come out on either side, to be honest. Lightwing going on this Ana. <coughs> Lots of people picking up the Ana pre buff, uh, mind you. Uh, but that could be a little ill advised. Definitely uh, don't want to be on this um, defense. Wait, is this a one? Yeah, definitely don't want to be on this defense without a mercy. And that's why Lightwing is going to eventually swap over to this Mercy. It's just such a problem for you, because you don't have any quick way to get people back, which Mercy gives you uh, in these scenarios. As we all know, a team without Mercy in this has to really perform, uh, otherwise they're just not going to get anywhere near as much value, and especially at this level. There's not much more that's going to give you not much that not much that's going to give you more than a mercy uh, can. Even from a mediocre, distinctly mediocre mercy, in comparison to a great Ana player, 
you could have Drolex being a great Ana player, but Mercy is still going to do just more because of how strong she is. I mean, it doesn't have quite the utility, but... Well, I say that it doesn't have quite the utility. Is Rez just a, the best utility possible? That's the real question here. Does sleep and anti-heal and heal button buffing not matter in the face of something which just goes, <laughs> no picks on the thing, silly? Grim back on this Farah, which would be interesting to see. They're just going to run around the right side. Just completely collapse and Kami, Kani being very aggressive here uh, with this Reinhardt. Luxray finding that first pick. The res coming through, but Lightwing running around. Luxray again finding picks onto Ambersand. Ambersand not having the best positioning, uh, but Jorlex finding Marquine. Just not exactly how you want to go. It's a little bit embarrassing. This Junkrat coming off from Edgy Raven is just going to try and keep him back, but he's all on his own because the rest of his team is getting stomped here. Edgy Raven finding a double kill for his team. This tire coming out, but. They're not going to have any of that. Grim is going to stop it in his tracks, and they're going to take this first point super quickly, having so much time going on to the streets phase uh, from Team Viking, even with an attempted kind of stall coming out. Will they be even, even be able to take this high ground? No, they're not taking it, which I think is a major mistake from Team Viking. Not taking this high ground, not trying to find an answer to the over-aggressive tanks of Team uh, Salty Robots. And just not dealing with Luxray efficiently. Luxray just doing so much damage, getting so many kill confirms with those mines. Eventually, uh, Edgy Raven is going to take the high ground, but it's not the best place that you want from a uh, Junkrat. You could do better with a hit scan there, but some great sh attacks coming out from uh, Kaiser Kaiseresk. But Grim's going to stop that brilliant shatter in its tracks. But Edgy Raven finding a kill onto Canny anyway, because Junkrat. Death. Get screwed, idiot. Another tire coming out. Just gonna find IMS and they're just gonna push on through, and it's not even a contest coming out from Marquine, and that's just a whitewash on that attack. A good uh, offense coming out from both sides, but just the Team Viking didn't have a strong defense. Just some great play here from Kani. This shatter, and then Grim just dropping that ultimate does so much work and stops them from capitalizing. At <sighs> Nutty, to say the least. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you want to hang around, I might be streaming some Battle Right, I don't know. Uh, I really like Battle Right, it's a great game that's coming out. I mean. It's a little bit like, come on, at least say GG, guys. Hey, Twitch. Hey, Twitch. Hey, guys. But yeah, some really strong performances coming out from Salt Robots. Definitely ones to watch. Uh, follow Shrek's second cousin. Do not do that. JK. Shrek's second cousin. I know you're in the chat. I've seen you. You've been around. You were here before. Uh, what were you here for? You were here last. You were here the last Scrub Cup match I casted. Whoa. Uh, leave game. Tally me banana. Alright. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank Scrub Cup for being hosted. I'd like to thank Vals for sending me messages and then deleting them. Uh, and I'd like to wish you all a good night.